I'm talking with Terry Stone, who is with Hospice of St. Francis. And tell me a little bit about your organization. Tell me something about you and what brought you to this group, because I know that it's got to be a passion. Hospice of St. Francis is the only local independent nonprofit hospice in Brevard County. We were the original hospice, and um, they came after me. <laughs> Oh, really? Yes. Well, there must have been a good reason. Right. My background in advertising and public relations. So I do all the community outreach uh, representing the uh, company in the community. Do you find that the community knows about hospice? No, they don't. And what is it you'd like them to know about it? Hospice is one of the best services they ever came up with in the health care industry. Right. Well, it's at the end of life the the last few days weeks Six hours months then you know you're surrounded by a home environment and loving and caring people right correct and these people take care of everything you need from physician nurses social workers chaplains we all come into the home wherever you live to take care of you right and it's for everybody right it's, it's for everybody it's not just for super important no. rich people medicare no. medicaid almost all insurances cover it and if they don't then we pay for the to take care of him i'd like you to meet chrissy hall and chrissy is with brownings one of the few if any independent pharmacies in Brevard County. That is true. How long? We've been in business for 52 years. All right, you're in the marketing business. You you do marketing for the company. Yes. All right, now getting people in the door is one thing. Well, keeping them inside the door is another thing. Tell me how you do that. Personal care. We just make sure in customer service that if someone comes in with an order or a prescription for a brace or something like that, we don't tell them it's on aisle four. We take the time, fit them for what they need, and make sure that it's exactly what they need before they leave the store. So so you're also into retaining people and not just shuffling as many as possible through the door, right? Absolutely. Most of our, our patients and our customers have been patients for years. They don't, once they come to Browning's, they, they stay and they tell all of their family as well that we're the best. <laughs> all right. And how many locations? We have two locations, one in Melbourne on Hibiscus, and then we have one in Orlando. This is Troy Denault. And uh, Troy, you're with uh, a, a group of people that actually help seniors manage moving into whatever they need to go, right? That's right. That's right. We help families as a family advocacy side of things at no charge. Um, navigate assisted living options um, with any of them here in the county. Okay, give me an example. All right, uh, I'm thinking about going into assisted living, but I don't know uh, what's available out there. Would you help me? That's exactly it. That's exactly what we do. We, we sit down, we find out what the needs are of the individual, of the family, where the family's located, and just trying to help them navigate. There's 140 different assisted living options here in the county, and we actually personally take them on tours to go to the individual communities to be able to find the best fit for them. All right, now what about veterans? Do you help with uh, veterans for some, some of their benefits? We actually do. We actually have an elder law attorney that actually is a partner in the whole process. So we help them out with aid and attendance applications. We can help families with Medicaid applications, wills, trusts, estate, planning, all of the legal components as well. But yeah. Yeah, and I don't think, th I think this will catch people by surprise. How much does it cost? Not a dime. Yeah, we are a free service to families. There yeah. you go. Yeah. And you used to be a former director of what? Of the Bavard Association of Human Services and actually was uh, the, the board president of the Bavard Assisted Living Association for about two and a half years. Where do we stand in that, in that as we get ready to have more and more people come into the system? How do we stand? Well, there's more and more communities that are popping up all over the county, and it's one of those that even in the small family care home setting, um, that those are opening up more and more. So here in Brevard County, we're actually pretty good at this point. You give it a few years as those baby boomers continue to come in. Um, it, it's, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But right now, we're in good shape. I'd like you to meet Deborah Grassman, one of the major speakers at tonight's function and she's going to be well you are with opuspeace.org which is a nonprofit organization that does what well we bring civilians and veterans together for the purpose of healing 
not just body, not just mind, but healing soul. We don't talk enough about soul injuries of war, soul injury after non-military trauma, after rape or crime, those types of things. So our organization really pays attention to the soul injury that occurs because then healing can occur from the inside out and it's not just a matter of managing symptoms from the outside sure, in. I, I wouldn't be incorrect though if I said psychological trauma, would I? Psychological trauma is absolutely a component of a soul injury, but soul injuries penetrate beyond the psyche to go even deeper and touch us in the soul. Having the pleasure of talking to Marva Edwards Marshall, and what we are doing is talking about Optima and United Healthcare. Now, they're kind of new to the Brevard area, aren't they? Yes, we recently came to Brevard in January of uh, 2014. Uh, we've been in Florida for about 20 years over in this um, West Coast in Tampa area and um, what do you guys do we are a managed care uh, group for residents in long-term care um, it's called institutional Spe special needs program and basically we have a nurse practitioner who manage care of uh, long-term care residents all right. So for me, what, what would that mean to me? I mean, if, if I wanted to take advantage of your program, what is it that I'm looking for? Well, uh, to take advantage of the program, uh, the person has to be a resident, live in a long-term care facility 90 days or greater. There is no um, uh, thought or no indication that this patient is going to go back home. This is their home. Okay. And so we come in and take care of them, their medical needs, along right. with the primary care physician. So you monitor, you're the, you're the safety net. You look at uh, what things are being prescribed and make sure that things are done on time, right? Yes. Um, our nurse practitioners do prescribe for the patients. They act. Their role, nurse practitioner's role, is similar to physicians. And so they do monitor the patient. They do assess the patient. They do prescribe um, medications and care for the patients as well. They com communicate with the family members. They collaborate with the, uh, the nurses and uh, the other team members at the facility for a whole person approach to the care and management of long-term care patients. Thank you, doctors. Thank you all. Now we have implants. 
<laughs> now we have Viagra. But <laughs> well, we can't remember why. Thank you.